Hey friends, it's Laura. Welcome back. So today is a uh, finished pages day and we're going to do it this way because I haven't done a finished page video in quite a while. I've been saving them up. So this is going to be finished pages from like maybe May until August. There's not that many. Um, I really only got back into coloring a couple months ago, like, you know, July, August. So there's just a few from May and June. But I'm going to go ahead and include them anyway because I haven't shown anything in quite a while. So we've got the Happy House Plant Coloring Book by Caitlin Keegan. We did this one on camera. This one was May. This might be the only one for May. And I did this one with pit pens. Um, and a little gel pen in the corners. This was a ficus. On the back of these pages, it has information about it. That was the Happy House Plant Coloring Book. And we've got, these are not in any particular order, by the way. I did not put them in order by date. This is Fairy Beauties by Coco Wild. Um, we did part of this on camera as well. This was August 2nd. Um, there's, I can't really see if that's picking up or not, but there's stickles on the wings. It's an alcohol marker base with colored pencil on top and stickles on the wings. And a little bit of gold gel pen for accents. Now we're into Mandala Collection by Nicola Lehman. I did this one in May. This was with pencils and there's a little bit of stickle on the brown bits. This one was in June. This one was with marker, just a water-based marker and gel pen for the round bits. This is Color by Number Amazing Mandalas by Alexander Franzesi. I did this one in May. I guess there were quite a few from May. This is with alcohol markers. And I've got Coco Wild Stress Relief. I like this one. There's like, there's a little bit of gel pen here and there. And then there's the knitting basket. There's the whales. I didn't tell you when these were, these were These were all uh, August. No. Yeah. 
is raw August. Seems like a lot longer ago that I did these. I didn't realize it was just this month. I like this one. This one I had a little trouble with. I tried to do a night sky and it kind of smudged. It got on my the side of my hand and I smudged it down here. It turned out okay. That was stress relief. Then we've got Cute and Groovy by Coco Isle. These were also in August. I did this um, and I feel like we've talked about this before. I already show these. Anyway, I did this as a purple flip phone because I used to have a purple flip phone very much in this color. It was squared instead of round. And I can't remember what color the buttons were. Um, I don't think I had a charm on it. I don't know. I don't think it had a place for a charm. But I loved that phone. It was the best flip phone ever. But eventually the hinge started to give out. And it just kind of flopped around and it wasn't working properly anymore. So I had to upgrade. And at that point flip phones were becoming obsolete, so I ended up with a slide phone. That was the next best thing, because at that point, smartphones were becoming um, the big thing. You know, iPhone 1, probably. Um, but, yeah, we weren't, we didn't, our family didn't get into, like, you know, smartphones until way late, so... We were a flip phone family for a long time. So I miss my purple flip phone. They took it when they upgraded my to my next phone. And here's sewing notions. And instant instant camera. And then we've got Coco Wild Comfy Patterns. I only did a couple in here. Did this one. And this one, which we did the background on camera. It's kind of a rainbowy background. I think that's all I've done in here. I don't know when I did those. Those were in June. And then we go to Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. Got these two pages from July 31st. And we've got Creative Haven Autumn Harvest. This was one of my books. I wanted to complete a page in it for August and September. So I went ahead and finished that. I don't really like how that pumpkin thing turned out. I should have done some different colors, but that's okay. I like how the rest of it turned out. I made that a flower field. I like how my pumpkins turned out. And then I've got another one planned in here, this one, that I want to do. I recently did one, oh, what day was that? That was August 23rd, so that wasn't too long ago. 
I just did one in Circulism Art Book, Color by Number, Mandala Shade by Eclipse. This one, I just did this one a few days ago on the 27th. I like how it turned out. I like the colors they chose. A couple other ones from this book. I choose fun colors. Um, this is a newer book for me, Color by Number for Adults, Stained Glass Mandala. Just completed this one on the 28th. Color Art Books, Color by Number, Quattro by Eclipse. This one. Color by Number, Floral Mandalas by Alexander Franzasi. I did this one on the 25th. And then Mosaic Black Edition Color by Number Mandala. This by Sun Life Drawing. I did this one on the 22nd, I think. I like the colors I chose. They're really not, they don't completely match up with the colors over here, but they look great together over here. And then I've got, this was a page that I picked out to color between August and September and I finished it. Um, this is from 50 Autumn Mandalas by Kamala Angel Kova. I like how that turned out. Then I also finished this one. Well, that was on, that was on the 29th. Because I went back and added details, so all of these are on the 29th. This was on the 29th. This one was finished on the 28th. This is still a whip. I need to finish the owl. And then... This is still a whip. I finished everything with pencil I was going to and I need to go back with gel pen and markers and finish the rest. So next up is um, all the whips that I'm working on that I wanted to finish. But I haven't finished yet. This was one that I wanted to finish for August and September so I've still got time. I just started it last night. Um, I'm almost done. This is a house color that I would love to have one day. The, this wood trim got kind of weird because I don't think I really meant to color the door that color. I think I meant to leave the door brown and have the trim this purple color. But it I did it backwards, so that's why that ended up being that way. But I would love to have... a muted sage greenhouse with... Kind of a darker undersaturated reddish purple. That's my dream house color. So of course I had to do it on here. I think it looks great. Anyway, 
So I'm almost done with that. This is a long-term whip. I don't know when I'm going to finish it. Um, hopefully soon, because I don't like seeing whips just sit around. But, you know. There's some clouds. So, that's how a circle like by Milk of Money. Um, I've got a whip out of 50 autumn mandalas, color by number by such and such diva. Somewhere I thought I had a sticky note saying what pencils I used for this, but now I'm not sure what happened to it. So, yeah, that's a shame. So I'm going to have to figure out what I used and finish it because I used pencils. I guess I could finish it with markers, but... I love this book. Lovely, lovely images in it. And then we have this whip that we started working on on camera. And I just need to get up the motivation to finish it. That was out of Enchanted Forest. Then we've got this whip out of Room, Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Bassford. This one we are going to finish for sure. Um, or I'm going to finish one, one way or the other. Now these whips I am determined to finish because this is like a project book for me. I'm so close to being done with this page. It just needs some gold watercolor and these little dots around the flowers. And then I'll be done. So that's almost done. And then these two. These were goals for this month and I just didn't get to it. I've, done, I've worked on them. I've worked on this one and I've worked on this one but I just didn't get enough done. So I will have to work on them more and finish them maybe in September. That's out of Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. This was another project that I wanted to finish in August. Johanna Basford World of Flowers. Um, this page that's falling out. Um, as you can see, I'm basically done. There's just a couple leaves and some dots and this thing and the butterflies. So there's, there's not much left to do. Um, it's mainly just some watercolor and gel pen. So I am, I am almost done. So maybe in September I will be able to finish this. I kind of regret... I don't know. I feel like all the water I did on this is why the page was peeling. But then like these pages, this one is peeling as well. Right here. It goes all the way up to here. And I didn't put any water on these pages at all. So I, I'm not really sure that that's one means the other. This washi tape does not stick at all. This washi tape does, except for right up here. This washi tape is sticking down here really well. Anyway, so that's a goal. And this one from Nature Mandalas by Milk Many. This one is so close to being done. I did this with pencil and I need to finish the butterflies in gel pen and then I want to go over these sun rays in gel pen because I feel like that would just really brighten up the whole page. 
everything else is done. So I really should finish it. So this will be a completed page for September. But that is it. So those are those are my finished pages for like, you know, May until August and my current whips that I'm willing to admit to because there are more whips as we've seen as we've gone through my completed color and coloring book collection. Um, these are the ones that I'm willing to tackle at the moment. So the other ones are going to have to wait. Um, and like I've got more planned for, let me get the other ones out. Are they at the bottom of this pile? What did I do with them? Hang on. This one. Yeah. Like autumn harvest. I've got, I told you I have this one planned. And Autumn Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. I've got this one planned. I've got plans like all over the place. For, you know, the rest of September and into October before I give up on fall coloring and dive into Christmas coloring. So, you know, I can only wait so long before I give into Christmas coloring, you know, urges. I'm just that way. I, I, even though it's like not Christmas season yet, it's still fall. And to be fair, it never gets fall here. We don't get fall. We just have endless summer and then it cools down slightly and that's winter. So it's, it's different here. It's, we don't get the fall vibes. Um, so it's hard to be cozy and coloring and, you know, stick with the fall vibes, but I'm, I'm doing my best and, you know, coloring the fall stuff and trying to get in the fall mood. We're going to go get my fall bin out of the storage unit this weekend so I can decorate for fall. And so that'll be fun. So anyway, thank you for joining me while looking at my finished pages and my current whips. And, um, yeah, I will see you all again probably tomorrow for another installment of my complete coloring book collection plus finished pages. Cause we got to finish that y'all were, <laughs> we're so close. I, can't, I need to go see if I have another one filmed or if I need to film the final one where I've only got one more to film. So we're, um, we're at the tail end of this. It's embarrassing. So, um, and I've been keeping tally of my coloring book collection total number here and it, it is growing and it is getting embarrassing. So we'll have a final number at the end. So anyway, thank you all for joining me. I will see you all again very soon. Until next time, take care and I will talk to you again soon.